What's going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Watch It In Action. I'm Bows Phoenix and I am so excited about the weapon recovering today that I'm not even going to do a joke intro. Cut. Today is a special day, as it's the day that Tenno the world over celebrate the three year anniversary of Warframe. The Lotus has decided to join us in the celebration by gifting every player a shiny brand new Dex Sybaris, as well as the previous Dex weapons that have already been released. All you have to do is check your inbox when you get in game to receive your new weapons. Now the Dex Sybaris is an upgrade almost across the board compared to the Sybaris, with an increased magazine size, a faster reload time, and the only real difference is a slight decrease in impact and puncture damage, but that's more than made up for in the increase increase the slash damage that the Dex Sybaris has received. This new version of the Sybaris also boasts an impressive 35% base critical chance, which makes modding for a crit build even more viable than it was before. Additionally, you'll notice that the design, like the previous Dex weapons, is very Lotus inspired, from the designs on the weapon to even the awesome little muzzle flash that flares the Lotus symbol when fired. The Dex Sybaris is both gorgeous and deadly, and it's quickly becoming one of my favorite weapons. Let's take a look at the build that I've put together for it. Alright guys, so here we are at the mod screen, and I want to go ahead and make a quick note that you don't actually need 6 Forma on this build. I know there's 6 Forma in the thumbnail, I know there's 6 Forma on my build right here, but I didn't want to mislead you guys coming into the video. You only really need 5 Forma. The reason mine has 6 is because we tried some other builds today on my Twitch stream when this weapon was first released. We got it, we maxed it out, and I tried a bunch of different builds on it, and some of the mods that I used were a little bit more expensive, so I had to go for the 6 Forma because I can afford it and I can afford to make those those mistakes and test that stuff and that's why I do these things so you guys don't have to you guys don't have to make mistake of over forming something or anything like that but the plus side to this is if I ever want to change anything I have the space to do it and I have the the form of the polarities on here to make make any changes I really want so a quick note before we jump into the mods here, you'll notice some things that you already may not agree with, and I know some of you are going to pause the video right now, go down to the comments and, and say this is better, that's better, my build's better, whatever. Um, we tested a lot of this stuff. I tried a bunch of different things, and I came up with some very good reasons as to why I chose the mods that I did. So always remember that I'm going to put a, a build together for you guys that I feel like is going to work for the large majority of players. Uh, now, my builds aren't going to work for everybody, you know, and that's that's okay, and you should try to make your own builds. I mean, use my builds as a template, use somebody else's builds as a template. Uh, template. Uh, the, the main objective of these videos and stuff like that, guys, is just to kind of inform you of the direction that maybe you should go in when building a weapon and what I find to be most effective and with the evidence that I show you guys like testing in the simulacrum stuff like that I think it's almost irrefutable that the weapons and the builds that I use are fairly or very effective if not you know extremely effective so going across here uh, checking out the mods this is a very simple setup these mods are very you know not that hard to get and a lot of them are super common. So the only one that you may have difficulty with is bladed rounds. We'll cover that in a second. But serration, 165% damage, no brainer. Split chamber, we got multi shot. We we need multi shot on every weapon except Sinoid Simulator. We already know that. Definitely got to have this. Now shred is a mod that a lot of people might argue with. Some people don't like punch through, and that's totally crazy. I have no idea why you wouldn't. But punch through on a weapon like this, I feel like is totally essential because enemy density, especially late game, is going to be very high. There's going to be a lot of dudes you got to shoot through, and sometimes shooting through doors is also very nice or through cover or anything like that I feel like shred is an indisposable utility mod I feel like you definitely need it on your builds and if you can fit it you should totally have it you can squeeze more DPS you could put on a heavy caliber or an argon scope or uh, a piercing caliber or whatever whatever you want in this place but I feel like having this utility is very, very nice, especially later on in the game. So I chose Shred. You can put a lot of other stuff here to squeeze more damage out of the weapon. But honestly, Shred is where it's at for me. Vital Sense and Point Strike are super simple. That's going to be our crit chance and crit damage mods, respectively. We get 87.5 uh, crit chance. Very nice. That's a lot higher than the regular Sybaris, making this an even more viable crit weapon. Which is why I felt like I didn't need to put Argon Scope on here. And I chose to go for Bladed Rounds instead, because I wanted an extra bump to this crit critical multiplier here. I actually tried both out and the damage was way more consistent with bladed rounds than it was with argon scope and I didn't have to get headshots. I don't like using argon scope because it changed the way that I it changes the way that I play. It changes my play style and I'm totally not okay with that. I don't like having to just play the game when I'm always trying to get headshots. I mean it's a crit weapon. You should try to get headshots as often as possible, but when it changes the way that I play and I'm focusing more on getting headshots than anything else. I don't think that's very fun. That's not gameplay to me. That's just min-maxing. And I'm, I'm not really, like, that's not kind of how I work when I play the game. So anyway, Bladed Rounds is, so, is a lot better for me. It's just aiming, and when you get a kill, you get the extra crit bonus. 
super nice there. Crit damage bonus, and I, I felt like this was a no-brainer for me. If you don't have bladed rounds, um, you can use a hammer shot in this spot, or you can use, you know, whatever else you want, really. Um, I would just opt to make it, you know, you could use another elemental. Another elemental worked really well in the tests that we did, but bladed rounds was just a little bit better. So if you don't have a bladed round, you can use either a hammer shot or another elemental, and that's going to work just fine for you. And then our elements here, speaking of elementals, I'm using Corrosive. This is a slash-based weapon primarily, but we have Impact really, really close behind, and then Puncture not too far behind that. So this weapon is very evenly distributed in its physical damage types, which makes it extremely versatile. You can take this weapon against any faction, and you won't be disappointed. Uh, the Puncture is going to hurt a little bit. It's not as good as the Impact or Slash, but it's still pretty good. And with the base damage we have and the crit multipliers, you're really, got, you're really not going to notice that much of a difference uh, against armored targets or, you know, whatever. So... Just switch your elements out to whatever uh, whatever faction you're fighting. I just use corrosive. You can use, I mean, you can use viral. You can use radiation. You can use, um, you know, whatever you want. There's a lot of different choices here. A lot of different things you can do. There's tons. There's tons of different elemental combos, and they're all good against different types of factions. So I noticed a lot of people in the comments were saying like, "Oh, well, I use different elements." You can. The elements that I use in my video are just placeholders, just to show you that an element goes there. It can be any combination of elements, whatever you want to use. So guys, that's pretty much the build. These are the stats here. Very impressive. A nice upgrade over the regular Sybaris. Let's go ahead and check this thing out in the simulacrum, and we'll see what this is all about. Alright guys, so today we're going to be using a couple different targets. We're going to be using a couple, like a smattering of enemies from the Void here that you might see. All level 100, some of them are armored, some of them are flesh-based targets, and I want to kind of show you how the weapon performs against each of them. Now you notice against the flesh-based targets, we can pretty much one-shot some of those Corrupted Ancients, and that's very nice. And even some of these weaker armored targets like the Corrupted Butchers, these guys aren't very tough either, but they still have a little bit of armor to them. Uh, next up, we have the Corrupted Lancers. These guys are a little bit tougher. They got a little bit more armor. And then the, our hardest targets here, these tougher guys, these are Corrupted Gunners, and they've got a lot of armor and health combined. So our Puncture is our weakest stat, and you can see that it takes a little bit of work, but we can still get through them and take them out. Now, these guys are going to be huge threats in the Void, especially at high levels, and particularly when these, uh, these Infested Ancients are running around. But you can see that this weapon makes quick work of just about everything it comes into contact with. Very fun to use. It sounds amazing, and it's very easy to see why this would be one of my favorite weapons. And, you know, the fact that everybody gets one of these is extremely awesome. So if you're a new player, this is a fantastic weapon to have in your arsenal, and should be one of the first things that you max out. If you just started playing the game a couple weeks ago, and you got one of these in your inbox, this is a great weapon to start working on if you get a couple forma under your belt and you get some good mods maxed out You cannot go wrong with this thing. It's extremely versatile the fact that it has its physical damage split between uh, a couple different You know damage types. It's all fairly equal makes it good in a lot of different situations Which is very good if you're new or if you're a veteran and you hate switching your weapons all the time You can just change out your elements and, uh, and it'll work for you But guys, I really appreciate you watching this video just the other just like last week We had 5,000 subs and we're already up to like over 5,200 so that's a amazing. I, I can't believe the support that I'm getting for, for making these videos, and I, I hope to continue making them for you guys, but I really appreciate you watching. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and I cannot wait to see you at the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.